in this multiple choice question, we have a graph of f of x and g of x shown below. So I want to come up with a possible equation for g of x. So it looks like we're deciding whether it is a horizontal or a vertical stretch and by how much. So let's look at each possibility. So if I wanted to look at it as a vertical stretch, I would line my points up vertically. So see how those line up vertically? Let's look at what's happening. On f of x, I have a point that is one unit away from the x-axis. On g of x, I have a point that is four units away. So it looks like I got four times bigger. So that would be a vertical stretch by a factor of four. Now remember, in an equation, vertical is straight up honest, so it's exactly as it appears. That means that my a value is four. That's one possible option. Let's look at also horizontal, because I see that the points also line up horizontally. If I wanted to look at this one here, let's go to f, which is right here, and it is two units away from the y-axis, and on g, it is one unit away from the y-axis. So I can see I'm coming in to be half as much. So I can say that it is a horizontal stretch by a factor of a half. Now that does not mean that b equals to a half because remember, horizontal lies. So it would actually be the reciprocal of that. So it's not 1 half x, we flip it and it would be 2x. So I can see vertical stretch and horizontal stretch. So if I go down to my options to see which one works, you can see that the vertical stretch that they have is by 2 and a half, which is not correct. And I go down to my horizontal stretch and I have a choice between B having a value of 2 or a half. And so we know horizontal lies, so it must be option B.